Today's lesson is Problem Solving Investigation, where we'll be looking for patterns. Each of our problems today is going to be a word problem. Other than that, it's going to be just like what we did in class today. So our first word problem says, John is training for a race. The first week, he runs two miles. The second, he runs three miles. And the third week, he runs four miles. Based on his pattern, how many miles will he run the fourth week? I'm going to shrink this down a little bit so that I have some room to make myself a table or a chart. So over here I'm going to draw my little chart, add some lines. So I've labeled it weeks and miles. So I'm going to add my, write in my weeks, week one, two, three, four. Or, I guess, just three for now. So the first week, he runs two miles. I'll write that in my table. The second, he runs three miles. And the third week, he runs four miles. So based on his pattern, how many miles will he run the fourth week? Well, what is our pattern? So it goes from two to three to four. So our pattern is it's going up plus 1. So if I add another 1 to 4, I'm going to get 5. I could extend this even further if I wanted to. Week 5, he'd run 6. I just keep adding 1. So that's our first problem. Here's our next problem. Go ahead and do this one along with me says, a new hot chocolate stand opens in town. On Monday, they only sell 12 cups of hot chocolate. Tuesday, they sell 19 cups and 26 cups on Wednesday. If this pattern continues, how many cups will they sell on Thursday? So once again, I'm going to shrink that down a little bit so I can make a chart. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday going to draw some lines here. So on Monday, they sell 12 cups. So there's 12. Tuesday, they sell 19. And Wednesday, they sold 26 cups of hot chocolate. So if this pattern continues, how many will they sell on Thursday? So what is our pattern? So from Monday to Tuesday, it goes 12 to 19. So that's plus 7. From Tuesday to Wednesday, 19 to 26, it's also plus 7. So the pattern is staying the same. It's 7 and 7. So now it's going to be 7 again. So 26 plus 7 is 33. If we want to extend this one more day to Friday, what is 33 plus 7? It is 40. Is it asking for Friday? No, it says how many did they sell on Thursday. So on Thursday, how many did they sell? 33. Okay, here's our second question to do together. Alyssa records the weather for four days in the following table. So there's our table. 60 degrees Fahrenheit on Monday. 57 degrees Tuesday, 54 Wednesday, and 51 degrees Fahrenheit on Thursday. If this pattern continues, what will be the temperature on Friday? So our pattern is it drops 3 degrees from Monday to Tuesday, 3 from Tuesday to Wednesday, 3 from Wednesday to Thursday, so if it drops another 3, what will it be on Friday? Go ahead and write it down. It's going to be 48 degrees. Okay, here's your first problem you're going to do on your own. It says Jared's soccer team scores two goals in their first match, three in their second, and four in their third. If this pattern continues, how many goals 
will they score in their fourth game? Second question. The house numbers on Airport Drive are 105, 111, 117, and 123. What is the number on the next house likely to be? Question number three. Alexa still has 27 pieces of Halloween candy left. If she eats three pieces every day, how many days until she eats her last piece? And last of all, number four. Jake donates seven pennies the first day of the penny drive. If he brings six more pennies each day than he did the day before, how many pennies will he donate on the fifth day? Thank you for listening. Um, I'll check your notebooks tomorrow.